Hello. In this video, we're going to solve problem 2.3.18s, an old exam problem. We're going to be calculating the present value of a decreasing annuity based on its relationship to the present value of a certain perpetuity. And as in the last video, we will get practice using the built-in financial functions on the calculator. So we've got this person, Joe, and he can purchase one of two annuities. Annuity 1 is a 10-year decreasing annuity immediate with annual payments of 10 down to 1. So the first payment of 10 would be at time 1, one period after the present at time 0. And we have this last payment of 1 at time 10. And the other annuity is actually a perpetuity. It goes on forever. A perpetuity immediate, the uh, first payment is going to be at the end of the first year. The perpetuity pays 1 in year 1, 2 in year 2, 3 in year 3, etc., up through 11 in year 11, and then after year 11, the payments remain constant at 11. So it's initially increasing and then it stays constant. At an effective annual interest rate of I, the present value of annuity 2 is twice the present value of annuity 1. The goal is not to calculate I, instead the goal is to calculate the value, evidently the present value, of annuity 1. So here's our timeline. Let's just put both annuities, picture both annuities on the same timeline here. So we've got annuity one, which I'll put up higher here. Annuity one is the decreasing annuity immediate. First payment of 10 is at time one. Second payment of nine is at time two, etc. The last payment of 1 is at time 10. How about annuity 2? Um, first pay no, payment of 1 is at time 1, 2 at time 2, 3 at time 3, etc. 11 at time 11, and then it stays constant at 11 thereafter. Alright, the key thing now is the thing that we're given, the present value of annuity 2 Write it like that, is twice the present value of annuity 1. But annuity 1 is that simple decreasing annuity. Symbolically speaking, its present value is typically written as dA sub n, n is 10 in this case. I won't bother writing the i. What about the present value of annuity 2? Well, I did a video about this recently that you could think about the present value of such a perpetuity that initially increases in and then is constant in two ways, um, either as a deferred perpetuity, level perpetuity, plus an increasing annuity, or as an undeferred perpetuity minus a decreasing annuity. And the minus one, subtracting the decreasing annuity, typically, well, at least in that problem, was easier, and it'll be easier in this problem, too. We can think of the present value of annuity 2 in green here as 11 times the present value of a perpetuity immediate that would start payments of 11 at time 1 minus the decreasing annuity that we see in red up there, minus dA10. Okay, so this is the key equation that we need to help use to help us solve for ultimately dA10. We can certainly add dA10 to both sides and then divide both sides by 3 to write this as dA10, the present value of a standard decreasing annuity, immediate, is 11 thirds times A infinity. A infinity is 1 over I, so this becomes 11 over 3I. We can also now use the formula for the present value of a decreasing annuity as n, the number of payments, minus a n, a sub 10, the present value of a level annuity immediate, divided by i. The i's now can cancel, and you're left with the equation 10 minus a 10 equals 11 thirds, which we can solve for a 10. a 10 is going to be 10 minus 11 thirds, 30 over 3 minus 11 over 3 is going to be 19 over 3, or 6.3, repeating if you prefer. All right, we're not done, right? We need to solve ultimately for dA10. Uh, we need to maybe solve for I first.
to then help us use the, go back to this formula and use this. We already have a10. I mean, I can even go ahead and plug it in there. Our answer is going to be um, 10 minus 6.3 repeating is going to be 3.6 repeating over i. That's going to be da10, and that's going to be our answer, but we need to figure out i. So here's where the calculator is going to come into play. Again, um, this is just me, but typically as a default, I like to keep uh, the payments per year at one, and also the number of compounding periods per year is one, even though it's even though it could be different. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm treating the y as any amount of time that I want. Could be monthly, could be daily. It doesn't matter. In this case, it really is yearly. But I typically I keep those to be a one. It's just a standard way that I do things. And then we can enter the other financial data here. We are set, I believe, to annuity immediate. Let me just double check that here. Yeah, you don't see a BGN up there. Um, we want to enter 10 for the number of payments. So I type 10 and press the N button. That's stored in N. I want to put the present value and the payments in for this standard level annuity. My goal is to solve this for I, this equation right here. And I want one of those to be negative. It really doesn't matter. It depends on kind of which way you're imagining the money flowing. You know, Joe is purchasing this annuity. So he's essentially the 6.3 repeating its present value is an outflow. Think of that as positive and uh, or may, maybe negative actually. And then what he gets from the annuity is payments that go into his account. Think of those as positive. It really doesn't matter. You can do it either way. So I'm going to go ahead and type 6.33333, put a negative sign, and put that into the present value, PV. And then the payments for such a level annuity are 1, and I'll think of those as positive. They're coming into Joe's account over time. Type a 1, PMT, and now you're ready to calculate the interest rate. CPT stands for compute, I slash Y, interest rate per year about 9.3%, and again, that is given as a percent. I then is about 9.3%, or as a decimal, 0 0.093. I can now plug that up into here to get the final answer. I'll go ahead and take its reciprocal here. Oops, I need to divide by 100 first. Now take its reciprocal and multiply by 3.6 repeating. There we go. The answer for the present value of the decreasing annuity, which is the present value of annuity one, is about 39.42. And that is correct.